is crossing. It's gonna cross the street, babe. It is crossing the street. Oh. What is even happening? Good morning, everybody. Say hi, Storm. Say hi. <laughs> um, good morning. It is Tuesday, December 1st. Happy December. <sighs> Cannot believe this year has gone by so fast. Um, and today is actually the anniversary of my baptism, which is pretty cool. I had it right before my surgery, so today is a very special day for that. And I'm also going to a doctor's appointment today at 11.20, weird time, right? And this is to do my every is it six yeah every six month cancer screening and in a few days it will be my ampiversary which people like to call it <laughs> ampiversary uh so i'm already starting to feel emotional uh today is is a little nerve wracking. Uh, still congested. <laughs> Didn't hear back from my doctor yet, so I don't know if I get the MRI today. But, you know, I have to just remind myself that yes, it was a very intense, stressful, uncertain, scary time, emotional time, but I'm here, I'm cancer free. Hallelujah. And, you know, I'm going to sit with those feelings. I can sit with those and that's okay. I just don't want to stay there too long. And that's something that I, I like to encourage other people. You know, some people feel, oh, I shouldn't, you know, be worried or harping on, you know, this memory or that memory or what I'm currently going through. I should just suck it up and move on. Well, feel those feelings. It's okay. It's normal. It's encouraged. And there's nothing wrong with it. So yeah, every time I go to these screenings, I always get nervous. Um, but I really don't think it's going to come back. I really don't think the cancer is coming, coming back. I just don't feel it. There's certain things that I will kind of hang on to but this is not one of them i feel very at peace that it's just not coming back and i'm sticking with that so after i get my good news that i'm cancer free still after boop 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 three years i always go to del taco and get my celebratory tacos i don't know why i do that but i do uh <laughs> so yeah, and I'm wearing my cute, I guess, yeah, it's, it's got pockets too. It's like this little nightgown thing. I think it's probably from the 60s or 50s, I would say. I got it at a thrift shop in, oh, not a thrift shop, more like a, well, it's like a high-end vintage store, I would say. And I mean high-end and like, it's not thrift shop. But I got this in Florida. Come on, sir. Hi, mama. Oh, I love you. She's so sweet. So nerves are a little bit 
there today. You know, it's there. Sometimes I do get the what if during these appointments, but that's it. Usually it's just during these appointments that I'm like, oh. And I remember last time, six months ago, the doctor was taking too long. And I started to panic thinking, oh, he saw something and he has to look at it further and blah, 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 blah. Try not to do that to yourself, friends. So anyways, I need a cup of coffee. So I'm gonna go do that. Well, I thought I was gonna go get a cup of coffee, but I'm stuck here getting biscuits mixed up on <laughs> a storm. So I started decorating a little bit, as you can see, some there and there. So got a long way to go. And over here, that little Santa Claus and that little house have been in my family for a very long time. Those little piggies, Carl, my good friend Carl carved those. And he gave them to me. Uh, but yes, this the Santa Claus, uh, my grandpa, Arthur, he carved that. So that thing is over, well, I'm 34. Oh God, I'm 34. <laughs> and so I would say that's close to, could be almost 40 years old. It could very well be. And I have a little Santa over there, there. There. So it's getting there. I still have a long way to go. Uh, I love decorating. It's fun. I just, we don't really have the room. Um, I'm trying to save money, so I don't really want to spend too much on decorations. So yeah, but we make do with what we got, right? That's right. Hey friends. So I'm about to go to my cancer screening right now, but I just thought I would show you what I'm wearing. Uh, when you go for scans, it's best to wear something that you can take off very easily. I just have a couple buttons, unbutton, there you go. For uh, the ladies, you're gonna not want to wear a bra with underwire. <laughs> and otherwise you're gonna have to take it off, which if that's not a problem for you, fine, great. Uh, don't wear a lot of jewelry, I'm gonna have to take off my watch. Uh, I'm probably not gonna wear my wedding ring. It's just one less thing to worry about. And yeah, so this is my outfit and I'm ready to go. So cross your fingers, folks, because I'm a little bit nervous. I always get a little bit nervous, but I know it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Anyways, I am off to go for my screening. Then I'm going to get my celebratory tacos. And yes, I'm not wearing lipstick. Ah! I'm going to wear a mask, so why am I going to wear lipstick, right? Yeah. So, anyways, here goes nothing. Okay, just before I go in, I just have to say that I got the perfect parking spot. I haven't had this spot, and I don't even know how long. And I'm like right there, right where I need to be. <gasps> I was circling the place for like 15 minutes, couldn't find a spot. All right, well, here I go. I'm off. Hello, so I'm in the dressing room. I have these two ropes. And in my opinion, the first one should go behind you. That way you're covering your rear end 
You don't have to worry about it. As you can see, it is covered. Number two. You're gonna place this one in the front. Like so. And you can tie it if you want, but for the most part it stays in place and you are covered and ready to go for your scans. All right, this is the CT machine. They have a beautiful scenery for you to look up at. And over here, there's a couple icons with a cute face on it, and it's telling you when to hold your breath and when to breathe. Coming back here, that's where your body goes. This is where you lay down, and that's the CT machine. Alrighty, I'm getting myself pumped up here. And I just wanted to show you the bags that you put your personal belongings in before or after, you can toss them in that their garbage bin, but it's a little difficult to open it when you have one leg. So you can use your crutch or you can just take a piece of trash or the linen that you were wearing, lift up the lid and you can toss it right in. It's a lot easier to do, I promise. Hey friends, I am in the doctor's office. So keeping my fingers crossed, I haven't been in this one before. So that's where I'll see my, my scan. <sighs> and I'm gonna get my answer soon. Celebratory taco! <laughs> I am cancer free. I'm cancer free. I am cancer free. Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> so yes, I have my tacos. And I'm waiting for my nieces to get out of school because I picked them up a few days out of the week. So yeah, I had clear scans and I'm very, very happy. Uh, I asked my surgeon, I said, why are we only doing the chest x-rays now? How come we're not doing pelvis too where, you know, the cancer was? And he said, that he said if the cancer ever comes back it will come in my lungs so that's why they do that and uh yeah so it's just ct scans so the doctor did not in fact do a uh an mri she didn't send in the request to check out my nasal cavity because i i think i might have polyps and that's what's going on with my sinuses so I'm probably gonna have to make another appointment to do that, which is fine. Everything's fine because I am cancer free. So yeah, I'm very relieved. I, I stayed pretty calm and the doctor actually took 20 minutes, but I was fine. I just was resting in peace. So anyways, uh, I'm looking forward to the next scan that'll be in six months in June and yeah so it's gonna be three years and a couple of days my, my surgery date and I'll be reflecting on that so here's to being cancer free y'all hey friends I got my hair redone no more roots yay I forgot to uh, post that when it happened but most importantly, I forgot to talk about my experience. Gosh, the lighting is not very good in here. I apologize. I forgot to talk about, I was walking to go get my scans and I heard this gentleman say, hey, uh, that's what I was talking to you about. And I hear the other guy in the wheelchair and he's missing part of his leg say, oh yeah, hey, excuse me. And I just had a feeling it was, you know, directed towards me. So I turned around and the guy was like, hey, you know, he's commenting on my crutches. You know, do you, how do you like those? And, you know, just asking me all these questions. And it just turned out to be probably like a 10 minute conversation with this gentleman. And I, I'm assuming it was his family member. And I was just trying to encourage him. He had just lost his leg below the knee and... You know, I sent him my way to my channel and, 
you know, I just said, I hope that my channel will be able to help you. And it was just really great. I shook their hands and I walked away feeling really happy. And I think it's just really important for us as amputees and even cancer overcomers or any form of trauma survivors that, you know, we bond together as people with our experiences we can share them together and and support others in countless ways and i just encourage you to open your heart and yourself up because it is hard sometimes to do that with strangers but the rewards are just endless and i believe that just being kind to one another is just so important and when you can find that common ground with traumatic experiences, it tends to, not, not that it was worth it, but it just tends to, I guess, make it not so heavy. You know, when you're bonding with the people that have been through similar experiences, it, it kind of lightens the load emotionally, I, I, for me anyway. So I just encourage you to, to talk to different people. It's really, it's really awesome. So anyway, just thought I would share that. Good afternoon. It is Thursday and I am finishing up some really good tortilla soup that I made. Everyone that's tried my soup, they like it. And that makes me happy. Anyways, I just thought that I would document how I would take applesauce, our newest addition to the family, how I take him from in our room, because he's still in our room right now until he gets a little bit bigger. And I'm going to transfer him from our room to the carrier. And then I'm gonna show you from the carrier to the car. <laughs> and just thought that this might be helpful. For this, I'm going to use my underarm crutches uh, to go to the vet. I'm gonna use my forearm crutches and I'm just gonna ask the staff if they could just, you know, take him for me. That way I don't have to struggle with the door and it's just good practice for me to ask for help, which I am not good at all the time. So here we go. just realized I didn't explain why I'm taking him in his carrier taking him to the vet because I think it's time he has to get neutered and just gonna give him a proper checkup uh, this time at an actual vet I went to like a, a little free clinic well it wasn't free for all of the other kittens and I'm not sure if I even said this but I got with the help of my neighbor we got all those kittens homes I cannot believe it and all in my city too. So I'm very, very happy, very grateful. And then of course we kept applesauce. So anyways, that's what I'm gonna go do now. And then my husband and I are going to his doctor's appointment later. And then I gotta come home and clean. We gotta clean this house because I just did some social media stuff, some videos and every time I do videos, the house just blows up. It's wild it just i don't know just happens so anyways hey friendos i am in costa mesa 
and I'm going to get rid of these. Hallelujah. I am so excited to get my hair redone. So it is gloomy. It's 60 degrees. We're by the beach, so that makes sense. But anyways, I will show you what it looks like after I'm done.